Hello guys and welcome to Intro to Command Prompt by Quackly Tutorials. Today we're just going to give an introduction to uh, Command Prompt and uh, teach you how to open Command Prompt window in Windows. So what is Command Prompt? Command Prompt is the Microsoft Supply Command Line Interpreter on OS2, Windows CE, and Windows NT based operating systems. Uh, that includes Windows 2000, XP, Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows Server 2003, Server 2008, Ser Server 2008 R2, and Server 2012. Command Prompt is the analog of command.com in MS-DOS and Windows 9X systems, where it was called MS-DOS Prompt. So basically Windows uh, just created an application um, that will run just like command.com in older systems. Command.com was usually run in uh, DOS um, and Command Prompt is a Windows application that usually runs in Windows 32 console. The Win32 console is a text user interface implementation within the system of Windows API which runs console applications. Now that you have a little background of what, what Command Prompt is, uh, let's get started in uh, the various ways of opening Command Prompt. Uh, to open Command Prompt, um, just go to the Start button, click All Programs, go to Accessories, and then click on Command Prompt. It will open up a Command Prompt window. You can always also go to Start, type in CMD, hit Enter, it will also bring up a command prompt window. Um, you could also start the task manager by right clicking on the taskbar here. Go to start uh, task manager. Um, and then go to new task. Type in cmd.exe. Enter. This will also open up a command prompt window as you can see right here. We can also go to the Windows Explorer and just type in C Windows System 32. Okay, we'll go to that folder. Now we're going to search for command prompt, so CMD. Okay, there it is right there. You can double click or press enter. It will open up another command prompt window. Uh, another way to do this is to type in file three forward slashes C Windows System 32 and then cmd.exe. Press enter. It will open up a command prompt window. We can also create a shortcut for command prompt on the desktop. Um, all you have to do is right click on the desktop, go to new, and then shortcut. And you can browse, um, you know, to where uh, command prompt is. So we can just, um, we can either just type in and it will browse, but we'll do it the Windows way, we'll, we'll browse for it. Uh, we can go to computer, C drive, Windows, System 32, and we'll scroll, scroll down to Command Prompt. We can also just type CM, there we go, Command Prompt right there. Highlight that, hit OK. You can name it by saying Command Prompt. And here's your shortcut. Double click, and here you go. Uh, you can also pin this to the taskbar by right clicking on the uh, icon and say pin to taskbar. This will put this down here. You can click on it, it will open up a command prompt window. Um, to open up a secondary command prompt window, just right click on it and hit command prompt, open to. You can also create a 
new text file. And inside we can just say cmd.exe. We'll save this as all files. We can name it command.bat, which is a batch file for Windows. And as you can see, it created a batch file. Double click, it will open up command prompt. To run the command prompt as administrator, um, we can go to Start, All Programs, Accessories, right click on Command Prompt and ask it to run as administrator. This will bring up a window, um, all you have to do is click Yes, and you have administrative rights uh, for Command Prompt. Um, you can also right click, go to New, Shortcut, uh, the type of shortcut will be Command Prompt, so we'll have to um, let's see, go to Windows, System 32, and then CMD, OK, next, Command Prompt, let's just name this Command Prompt 2, since we already have one. Uh, we can finish that. Right click on this, go to Properties, Advanced, Run as Administrator, apply that, hit OK. Now when we go to this, it will ask us, hit click Yes, and we are running Command Prompt as Administrator. So there's various ways of opening Command Prompt. Um, hopefully I covered all of them. Um, and stay tuned for our next command prompt tutorial. Thank you.